guys welcome to the speed build video in the sims 4 my name is irene and today i am building my japanese lake mansion as you can see in the quite shaky cinematic intro yeah with a huge house and with the lake and with the flowers and everything my laptop just didn't cope that well in camera mode but as you can see in that intro it's going to be a massive house with a huge lake in front of it all in japanese style i never went to japan i don't know that much about the culture but i did some research and especially in the interior i wanted to make a blend between a modern and traditional style so i made some tatami flooring a meditation room a tea room and I made the toilet separate from the bathrooms and yeah I'm sure I made some mistakes but I really wanted to yeah make this as Japanese as I could it's quite a long video that has everything to do that is you just all in this video the interior the exterior everything and yeah i made a decision last week that i don't want to cut up my bills in several parts anymore and yeah that's why i didn't have voiceovers over my last two videos because of course building takes me a lot of time and recording voiceovers as well and yeah when i want to do just everything in one part the whole building process takes me even more time of course and sometimes i just don't have the time to record a voice over over it and i really want to prioritize the builds on my channel so yeah that's why i made the decision there's still going to be i think at least one voice over a week but it depends a little bit on how much time i have left to do it and that's why this voiceover is going to be over the entire video just over yeah i think 15 minutes we, we will see how far we go here but yeah this is going to be a huge mansion and as you can see in the left corner of your screen at first i had a different plan in my mind and i actually had a totally different plan according to builds this week because i didn't upload last wednesday and last monday i'm sorry for that but i was sick again yay such a good start of the new year but yeah i was sick again and i had totally different plans for this week and i actually had one build almost finished but yeah i was in my bed and i was thinking about what to build to do next and then i started thinking about doing a huge mansion again and i wanted to do a winter mansion again as you can see in the left corner i was talking about because i really like building with the weather engine in the game i think it's almost magical when you put snow over your builds and because it's winter now i really wanted to do a winter mansion again so that was my plan when i started this build and then when i was building yeah, the exterior for it but when i was done with the exterior and yeah with the roofs and yeah just quite look japanese to me so yeah that's when i made a decision to just go with the japanese style and just go all the way with it and i totally ditched that winter mansion idea but yeah that whole japanese style i really love the working with it and especially yeah with the interior as well but with the exterior and with the flowers and everything too oh i use a method here uh, with the roofs as you can see i place some roofs on top of short walls here that's a method I learned from the amazing Kate Emerald. If you don't know her, check her out. She makes some amazing speed build videos. But I especially love her tutorials. She always thinks us outside of the box. And she made a tutorial about how you can place roofs on top of short walls. And that's a method I'm using here in this build as well. The thing you want to do, of course, you want to place a short wall on top of your room. And then you want to place a room next to that room. You want to raise it up at the same height as the short wall on the room. And then you can place a roof on top of it. And if you delete that room where you place that roof on, you can drag the roof just over the short wall. And in that way, yeah, you can create roofs on top of short walls. And yeah, I think it looks a little bit re uh, more realistic when you use that method because otherwise, of course, you can only build roofs on top of rooms and you always have a huge distance between several roofs. 
So yeah, I really like that method. There's one huge annoying thing about it though, because every time when you, yeah, when you already place the roofs on top of the short walls and, you, and when you want to adjust a little bit about uh, in the house, when you want to delete a wall, for example, or when you want to build a wall or place a pond in front of the house, that was ex uh, especially annoying for me. All the roofs that you place with that method will be removed so yeah that's a little bit annoying so sometimes I'm pulling out the roofs from the builds and yeah when you place other things and where you want to remove walls then it's all okay and then you can drag the roofs over your house again but yeah but the entire structure of the build is already finished as you can see and I'm starting with the pond here and I still had a winter idea in my mind here. And I think especially when I was working on yeah, the wallpaper and on the roof colors, that's when I decided yeah, to make it into a Japanese mansion. Yeah, it's a huge build. I said it a couple of times and it's so strange because there are so many people doing tiny houses now because yay, a new stuff pack got announced last week, last Tuesday. And I didn't see it coming at all. All a tiny living stuff pack. To be honest, I really thought that the next stuff pack we would see would be that community phone stuff pack, that uh, the hands and crafts stuff pack, if I'm correct. I think it's going to have a totally different name though. But yeah, tiny living. I'm very curious what you think about the new pack, so please let me know in the comments down below. I'm not really sure about it yet. As you can see here as well, I just love building huge builds, huge houses, mansions. I talk a lot about that I want bigger lots in my game, not only just the 64 by 64 lots, but I want 100 by 100 lots. I want free building in the entire world and I know some games will be glitchy. Uh, but yeah, I still want huge lots and everything, so tiny living. I would be a little bit happier with huge living and I think we got that with Sims 2 or Sims 3 even, I'm not sure. But yeah, tiny living, it's not really my forte, but on the other hand, yeah, it's kind of a challenge for me because now I can challenge myself in building smaller and of course I was talking about the how much time it takes me to build these huge builds and yet tiny houses take me a little bit less time so yeah that's a good thing I think and of course new items I'm always happy with new items in the game and I kind of got what I wished for because I was talking about that I wanted new beds in the game and with the tiny living stuff pack we got new beds that Murphy beds I think it's called but yeah, it was something totally different that I was rooting for, of course. But yeah, I'm very curious which items there will be in that stuff pack. And yeah, of course I'm going to purchase it because I want every single pack there is. And yes, yeah, only 10 euros or 10 dollars. And yeah, I, my opinion is just I'm happy with everything, every pack they put out there be just because then we have new items. For example, the Moschino stuff pack, when it got announced, I wasn't excited at all especially because it got announced the same time when the realm of magic pack got announced and i was so hyped about the realm of magic pack and i thought that yeah i was going to buy the moschino stuff pack especially for the windows that i used here as well in this build but yeah now later on i have that stuff back and i actually I'm using quite some items from it, especially the sofas and some artwork and yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm always happy with a new pack, but yeah, I would be a little bit happier with a large living stuff pack, but maybe we'll get that in the future because I think, yeah, I was thinking about when Sims 5 will be coming because I think we're in Sims 4 for five years now, if I'm correct. So I thought maybe Sims 5 was in the, on the horizon in 2020, maybe it got announced, will be announced in June. But I think now with the new stuff back already, I think at least one or two years we will still have the Sims 4. But yeah, let me know what you think about that new stuff back. 
But yeah, I think I'm going to cut off this voiceover by now. As I was saying, this whole build took me so much time and I was sick last week and yeah, still a little bit of a headache. So I hope you don't mind. I really hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. Of course, as I was saying, you can see the interior and everything, especially with the tatami flooring. I had so much fun. I searched some floor patterns for tatami flooring and yeah, I really wanted to follow these patterns. So I really wanted to make it traditional in that way. So yeah, and of course with the pond, with the rocks and with the flowers and everything. So I really hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and you enjoyed it so far. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. I try to do a lot of different things with my builds here to keep you guys inspired for your own builds. When you're watching this on the day when I upload this on Friday, I will wish you a great, great weekend. And yeah, I hope to talk to you soon. Goodbye.